Hey, orange one here. So, uh, we got a portal storm coming our way. Um, pretty much in the same location as the last time this happened. So, um, I'm honestly just gonna chill for a little bit, and then once I get started, we'll go out and deal with it. But basically, we're trying to... Yep. Yep, it's just, uh, let's run out there now. And I'm going to eh, keep the gas mask on. I'm not sure what exactly we'll fight on our way over to the portal storm. It always is a little bit random what ends up spawning. But we do have the bees there, it looks like. Smoke fills the air, yep. I had a feeling. We might want our gas mask. Some scarred zombies. Yeah, they're fighting the bees. It's fine. Let's try and just because we're gonna get cut doing this anyways, we want to get across there before other things sp spawn. Okay, now we're in another dimension. No big deal. So we want that thing to not get to us. Ideally. There we go. Because if it hits us, it like slows us down considerably. I know there's a way down here. Just not seeing it. Okay, there's one. Nope. There we go. So you gotta just basically make your way down. I think I did like a whole tutorial video on this. Oh no. We've got guilt. That's not good. Like running away from our guilt. We have a, a funny enemy. <laughs> um, oh no. Everything around you seems to weigh more. I think that's our guilt weighing on us. Oh, that's funny. I think it made us tired even. I like it. Funny. Funny devs. Wait, hold on, what? <laughs> Let's see. We're having a little bit harder time getting through this portal storm than the last one. Here we go. Sure, we, there we go. And that should be all that we need to get a uh, little boost. Uh, <laughs> we've got strength and gravity and weakened gravity. So, gravity? I don't know. Um, we're going to... Walk, ow, ow, I know. Some impossible shapes are gonna chase us. That's fine. They're gonna fight the bees. Um, we've gotten our boost. I did not know you could get a, a weight penalty. Um, strength and gravity. Looks like that. I wonder if that's gonna last as long as the other thing that where we've got weakened gravity, you know? Those two things. Alright, let's get underground. I'm kind of done messing with interdimensional enemies right now. Hold on. Swords. Oh, what? Seriously. I might debug that back. I'm kind of a little salty about that. Um, yeah, I know. Just one, please. Um, game, enable achievements, yes. Thank you. Um, 
Oh, can we not have that on us right now? No, we cannot. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. We're going to get technically away from our car and our buddies up on top. We've got a shadow a shadow raptor? Really? It's not like an everyday enemy, that's like a pretty tough one. But I think with our bow we can take care of that. I was hoping to oh no. Uh I was hoping to get us out of here. No, C's out of the firing range already gone. Yeah. He's coming back. Okay, take a little bit better aim. Probably could hit him on the next. There we go. Cool. Okay, Shadow Raptor is down. Now above us, there's going to be chaos. So we want to make sure we have away from the car. I mean, we can't really see the weather right now because we're underground. But I bet if we walk our way up to the other lab or something. Not tearing soft out of what that is. Um, <laughs> you know, we could actually take this time to explore the tunnel a little bit. Nah. I think by the time we get up there, it won't be worth it. We're at least a little bit chilly. Okay. I'm hearing something fighting there. Rest. You know, we could probably rest down here. For a loud tearing sound. I think that that's the portal. Intense deja vu. Yep, that's the portal. Doing its thing. Messing with reality. So if we just like... Nope, nope. That's not what we want. Oh, we put our book down. Whoops. Well. <laughs> Smoke filled the air above us on the surface. See, there's gonna be all kinds of weird things happening up on the surface. Um, I am going to save the game, just because portal storms can do some weird stuff. That's fine. Yeah, nope, that's fine. I don't know what that was, but we're getting woken up by something. Can't really get any sleep, looks like. Yeah, continue. I don't know. Did enough time go by? It might have. But I'm also feeling like it might not have. I know that we didn't heal. Yeah, the moment's thick, it's not quite over. Oh, deja vuing. Okay, yeah, we need to... Yeah, get ourselves sleep. Come on, game. Nothing is making noise. Do we have earplugs? We, we do. Yeah, make myself deaf, please. Yeah, I don't know. Here we go. Okay, reality is normal. I'd like to get going now. Oh, of course, now we're asleep. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the real world. Actually, while we're here, no, there's not much to loot. I might want to grab Magnesium or the uh, Dragon's Breath. Saw someone uh, talking about that. Here they are. Another Flesh Raptor. Okay, whatever. I don't care so much about the Flesh Raptor right now. Go ahead now. 
And then probably when we get back to our car, it's probably fully charged. That's what I'm thinking. And if that is the case, one. You would do it quick for me. Okay, this, this guy is causing trouble. I think we can hit him though. <laughs> uh, where did he go? He's gone. There we go. I don't know what they reanimate into, but we're not going to find out. <laughs> And then we had our book that we dropped down here. So we gotta go get that. And I think we can drive back. I'm not sure. I would like to be able to drive back. There we go. That way. We can finally head out of this little portal nightmare. <laughs> Um, but the good news is our, our buddies here, they're totally fine. Oh, whoops. Look, the car is fully charged as well. So we can drive it. I'm kind of thinking, we want to get up to, like, where is it? It's like around here. There's the refugee center, but there's hub. I kind of want to get to Hub, I was thinking. Um, but instead of leaving all three of these here, I'm going to take one down and bring it with us. Uh, where's our... I think we had our, our background here somewhere. Let's just wear that, just because it's a good thing to have. Um, pick this up, though. And I think we'll just drive off. Yep. If we look there, there's a couple cow buys. I can. Okay. Um, I'm going to now steer this around and get going, because if we've not left 100% power, I'm feeling, like, pretty good about our position. Now, I was thinking we could loot that beehive for honey, but I kind of want to get to the hub, because I've heard cool things about what you can do there. You got really good loot. Like, the best loot, basically. Um, we don't need our cow out right now, so just out of caution. And let's just drink some of our milk that we've got here as well, stored. Like that. Maybe a little more, just to get rid of that thirst. And I think from here on out, we got we got a little drive. Um, if I wanted to go from here to, let's say, like here, can you handle that for me without crashing? Kind of. Uh, let's see. I think it was just our pain from driving. They're driving kind of slow, though. So it'll actually get more out of our fuel if we drive this manually and go a little bit faster than 12. So I'm going to do that. 44 is pretty quick though, for this game. You don't get going, especially at night, much faster because it's kind of hard to see around you on the turns. Okay, got that vehicle. We could also go and attack like town and everything, but I think the easiest option for us is just go up here, 
through Duxbury, like just straight up, basically. There's so many different ways to move around <laughs> the map right now, and we've got, as you, as you can see, we've got nuclear power with us. So I think it would be nice to put one of these up at the hub. It's kind of like my goal. Also thinking that that won't happen. So I think if we just go up here, yeah. I have to kind of go through the field a little bit, so I'll just be careful. Because the fields can have, yeah, rocks like that. Oh, will oh, mess you up. We've already gone through, like, a good chunk of our battery power. It's a good thing that we're bringing this with us, is what I'm saying. But I think that if we are careful or smart, we can... Until I get this to be done nicely. Okay, we're like most of the way to the exodi, and then like we need to go past them. Yeah. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> this is really what capitalism is all about, is managing your resources so you can make long drives. <laughs> oh yeah, the rulers that I wanted to get. You know, I had also wanted to kind of scout out a little bit to the right, but because it's night, it's like, it looks like it's midnight. I don't think that it's a particularly good time to scout, actually. Oop. Okay, let's do that. Instead of trying to go faster, I think that we just hold the speed. Yeah. Squirrel. <laughs> hey, squirrel. And we do have the dry dog food, so if we want to catch any dogs, we are near our camp. That has, has a little like, oh no. Thought that that was not going to damage us. That's wrong. Okay, so we got a tree farm. What's this? I'm a car steel plate. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could be improving this vehicle. I was definitely thinking about that, but we charged up so quickly. I, I, I don't know. Didn't seem worth it to me. Now, they do have some reinforced windshields. They're kind of smashed up. We could probably get some parts that we could work with. We're going to have to cut through Duxbury. I'm not thrilled about. I'm going to be honest. Because that means we're probably going to have to do some fighting. Who knows? Oh yeah, that evac sheltered also worked. There's something going on in the parts of my Jason's for the save. I can tell. <laughs> Something's not right. And over. Yeah, this is almost certainly gonna have some some combat that incoming. I think that probably means kill him. Uh, it is kind of a little bit dangerous. Suppose, but if we're careful, we can put that there. All right. We're gonna also put the data pack there. Keep hitting one right there. I think we can get really close. Bobkin is unnecessary. Let's go broadhead on this. 
Run, run, run. See, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get it, but we're gonna try and do some arrows on this. 40's not bad. Keep in mind, they are badly bleeding now. That's kind of awesome. Okay, well, that didn't work. Yeah, he's gonna come back. Don't worry. Or maybe he's not. There's the possibility he's not gonna actually come back towards us because he can see enemies now. Oh, there's an Ashen Brawler. We do actually have things on. Can we take aim at him? We can. Let's see if we can get a shot off. I mean, it says that we could. So I'm going to try it. If it'll allow me to. Why damage? Are you kidding me? Let's see what we can do with another one. A little bit more damage. We'll just, I don't think we're getting another shot off, so we're going to get a good one. There we go. Oh, that was wrong zombie. I think. Yep. Oh no. That's the power arm guards. He's grabbing us. Yeah, we, we're pretty pretty deadly in a melee here, brawler. Yeah, so are you though. That might be the case. There we go. You want to smash that? Zombie there. Just gonna do that. Okay. Got the pull back, I think. Got them. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, at least he's getting acid down for us. It's actually have kind of nice. Take a minute. Get a breath back. Did we? Oh. Did we actually get him? I don't know. That's kind of weird. No, we did not actually get him. I think he's coming our way now. Where are you? There we go. Rod head on the brawler. Yeah. It knew that we were going to lose sight of him, I'm pretty sure there. Just like, yeah, don't even try a name. I mean, that's better than nothing, honestly. You know what? 
I'm, I'm kind of done playing around, Smoker. Have some inbound enemies because of that. Some people might not like on the child. Can handle that. Okay. Stop running. Looks like we're in a decent-ish place, but like, you know, all things considered, we did have to use our gun there, hoping to avoid that. But, I mean, this area is fairly light density. Alright, uh, where is it? There we go. Do we have a solar panel in our backpack? Is that what I just saw there? I think we do. Alright, um, let's advance a little bit. That thing's got some cameras on it, it looks like. Got some other zombies there. Let's see, just about avoiding them. Look. Yeah, this looks fine. It's totally clear. Um, there's some solar right there. Good to know. And then we need to go up. Maybe not this one, but the next one. Zombie Hunter. Something's rising up. Okay, we weren't very thorough. It looks like a woodland white. Let's beat it up for a second, just so we don't have to smash by that. Okay. This is definitely not the best way between these two locations, but it is the way we've got clear right now. We're gonna use it. And we still have 70 something percent. Which is good. Uh, that's an evac shelter that spawned correctly. Yay! <laughs> kind of rare for us. We tend to get borked. Okay, so if we get up to near the lab, then we cut over field wide through these fields. There's ants. There's gotta be lots of ants around, probably. But if we can navigate around those, then we're in a good spot. Got this industry area as well. Let's see. I think we probably, because of those ants, want to cut around here. Bunch of deer there. Interesting. I'm just gotta make a note of that. They can they can be good. I think that they give you cattle samples if you dissect them. Not that we need any more samples anytime soon with this character. Look at that, there are ants. All right, so go past the farm, past the town, we'll be at the hub. Just gotta go past the army of ants. Yeah, this is um definitely hostile territory.
And there's quite a few of them. I mean, we can handle some ants, but I'd rather not. I'd rather get three here with our nuclear reactor. Um, I'm a little bit curious about these farms. Not like that. Not enough to really stop there, I don't think. But we can use it as a little um, jumping on point with the roads, I think. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's a. Is that perfectly intact? It's not perfectly intact, but it's an APC. That's ridiculous. Cataclysm, you just, you gotta just be absolutely insane sometimes, huh? Hong Kong. Look at this thing, it's an APC, it's just like totally fine. <laughs> have I, have I seen this already? I mean, it looks like the it has the guns been taking off. Yep, so it's lacking wheels. It's kind of interesting. Oh. Yeah, the wheels are broken. <laughs> oh. So. No wheels. I mean, that's like a really cool little spot for us, honestly, to just know about. Makes you wonder what else is in here. Looks like I've already done this, though. Before I looted it. <laughs> long time ago. Different life, basically. I honestly don't know how long ago that was in real, in real life. <laughs> I last checked that. Alright, so we want to go sideways. We're still... Still got our generator. Still going west at this point, and we're a little bit, a little bit more than halfway. A little bit more than half of our fuel left. I think when we get there, we'll have like about fifty-ish percent. Kind of what I'm thinking, based off of how long it's taken us to get this far. Gosh, <laughs> road trip, huh? And people say they want uh, fast travel in this game. I think that this is part of it. You gotta, if you want to go trade with the hub, you have to plan out half an hour drive in the real world uh, to get there. <laughs> and manage your resources appropriately as well, which is kind of cool, if you ask me. I kind of like managing resources, like fuel, and be like, okay, well, I want to do this trip. It's like kind of like Star Sector did that a lot, a very simple way but also um, easy to just kind of jump in and do. Um, so yeah, let's see. Let me just get to the hub. Let me just get there. I just keep on trying to speed myself up, but it's like, nope. <laughs> yeah, I really think that like, Star Sector is a good game for that, where it's like, okay, I'm gonna go out into the, the darkness, into the void of space, and I have to bring resources out there, or kind of like scavenge out there, get good at being a pirate. Oh, sped up a little bit there. See, I was like, I wanna go fast, and I got on a road, I went fast, it's like, wait, hold on. See, that's interesting to me. The military outpost next to a farm. I feel like that's not, um, we haven't really explored this area that much. There's a lot to explore. Yeah, military outpost is going to be one of the first priorities, but I also want to just get our IO recorder back, the hub, after I've, I've done some reading about the hub bar. I was like, okay, that's gotta, that's gotta happen. <laughs> we have gotta. Them. All right. Um, 
like this, I think. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut through the field one more time. I'm just curious also with the front of the vehicle. Yeah, things get, did get a little bit dinged in the drive. I do need to put some like shock absorbers in as well. Okay, avoid that. That basically on the road now. Just do a little quick save because I don't trust it. <laughs> That's a lot of file changes. <laughs> Can we do like something like that, please? Ignore. It's fine. Uh, there's a random zombie. A limousine. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm kind of intrigued by the limousine. But I'm more interested in the hub. It's kind of like, wait, it's not someone who's trying to make it to the hub? One of the government officials? I don't know. <laughs> it could have some good items in there, a limo. Got some like high end rich person stuff. This comforts a missile spider. Very intriguing. It's ignoring us apparently. All right. Well, we're back at the hub. Mission successful. Getting back here. Now we gotta do their quest and open them up a little bit. Um, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.